What's up everyone, Electronic Search here, back in another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to download and um, set up the Impossible v series of VM version 2.55. And, um, so, at this point, we've been doing this Impossible series, and I have decided to, um, Upload this to the public so anyone can download. I know. So if if you want to experience this yourself, there's now gonna be a link in 3.0's channel description and my channel description. Um, towards the very bottom, there's gonna be the link, which will lead you to the what's it called to the Internet Archive link. Which is also public. You can also just search it up on here too. There's the title. Now. I'm going to say one thing. Once you get to the mega file. You want to keep this window open. Because I figured out that if you. If you minimize the window and go to a different tab. It actually slows down the speeds. So in order for them to be quicker. You can just go on here. And as you can see I just. Completely downloaded the file. And, so, it's it's basically done downloading at this point. So, yeah, here it is, here's the pictures, here's the demo. There's the link above me, on the link to download it. It's not the screenshot part. It's it's just this, and that's it. You click enter, it will take you this to this page again, you can also find this in. Uh, the channel descriptions now. So, I did not... I wasn't able to upload the direct, um, zip file to Internet Archive. So, I had to download it through a mega link. So, here's the downloads. There's a text document which contains the... The link to download it, as well as the password. You don't have to download it, you can just click on text. And there you go, as you can see, it shows you the link right here, and then the password is right down below it. So then you uh, copy the link into a different tab, it'll take you to this. It'll ask you for a password, and then you put in the password that's under there. So yeah. You put this password in there, after, it's, after it asks you for it. And then it'll just tell you to click download. After you download it... This is what it's going to look like once it's near the end. And it's going to start downloading another zip file. Or I mean, uh, not the zip file, but like the actual, the actual download. This was just um, the mega link download, which basically just gets it from our server, which contains the the file so it's a zip file and because it's a zip file um you're gonna have to uh what's it called unzip it which you can do with 7-zip i think and winrar I th i'm pretty sure but in this case i'm just gonna do with windows explorer so as you can see it's almost done on these 5g internet speeds that i have So, yeah, this this is the, that's the download. Again, you click on the, uh, on the text. If you want to download these images, I guess you can do. You can just click under PNG, and there's all the screenshots that I made. So, after it's done downloading the zip file, open up File Explorer, go to your downloads, and here it's going to show up in downloads. Now, I'm doing this on Windows 10. Again, you can do this with 7-zip and I think WinRAR as well. But in Windows Explorer, it will say Open With. Open With, and then you can click File Explorer. And then OK. But um, before you do that, you have to also extract it. So Extract All. Extract. And then it's going to extract us for it. And then, 
you want to open up VMware. In this case, I have VMware version 17.0.1, I think. Let me see. Okay, so this is the version that I'm on. So I'm on version 17.0.1. And you can go to file. Actually, no, you can go to the home tab. Which if you, if you don't have it open, you just go to the tabs and then click on go to home tab. And then you want to click open a virtual machine. Not create a virtual machine, but open it because it's already created. You just have to open up the actual file, which is currently extracting. And then after, after it downloads, uh, I mean extracts itself, which it's still extracting it right now. Still have 20 gigs available. I mean 20 uh, gigabytes to go. So yeah, I'll show you once the extraction completes. Alright, so about the extraction process, we're almost there. We have about one megabyte left, 99% complete. So here we go. And there we go. So, um, after you have the extracted file, you don't need the zip file, so you can go ahead and throw that out. You don't need that anymore. Now you can go into VMware, go into your home tab again, make sure you open a virtual machine, go to your downloads, and then select the extracted file, open it, open it again, and then select virtual, VMware virtual something. Virtual machine configuration. Select that and then click open. And then it'll open it up. Now before you want before you start it, double check these settings to make sure they're good for your computer. So that way because some computers still have eight gigs of RAM. So make sure that this is lower depending on how much RAM you have. And then same thing goes with the core account and the hard drive usage, you can't change that. And then display and stuff too. So make sure you change that because if any, anything of that is wrong, it could uh, mess up your computer. By using up too much RAM, it could crash your computer, which happened multiple times to me. So make sure you double check these settings and make sure you double check how much RAM you have. In this case, I have 16 gigs of RAM. So, 6 gigs is good for me. I have 4 cores, so in this case, 2 cores is good for me. And then I have an M.2 SSD, so that's good, and then plenty of space. So then, power it up. And then, once you get to here, click on, I copied it. And then, after you click that, it'll boot it up. And now we wait. There we go. Now this is going to start up much quicker than what mine has because mine isn't loaded with all with a whole bunch of junk. And there we go. We are in it. The same background that's right here. Except that it's a different VM. As you can see, here's the VM that I used. Where I installed the original Windows on. This is the one that I downloaded from the internet. So, we can log into the impossible. Also, for the Dell account, I know there's a password on it. There's a password hint that says... Password hint 000. This is the password. The password to the Dell account is 000. Three digits and that's it. So if you want to get into that, the password to it is 000. That's it. Nothing else. No spaces, nothing. Just 000. To log into the impossible, just click on it. It'll log you right in. And there you go.
you are now in the VM that you have downloaded from Internet Archive. This is the official release. And this is brand new. There's no downloads. I mean, there's stuff on the desktop, but as you can see, there's no downloads. Nothing else. And plenty of free space. I know on the other one, it said that there was more space freed up. That's that's because I was on the on the preview version. This is the official version. The one that I was on before was just a preview version. Just, just looking out how, how how it would look like. But this is the official one. This is the official version. And yes, as you saw in one of those pictures, if you do run the bird or the PD buddy or whatever, it will change it to a super laggy and yeah as you could see it will run the bird normally now if you don't want this if you don't want this you can just click on the start menu actually wait no you don't you don't have to click on the start menu you can actually j just oh yeah this this is a common problem in VMware 17 at least for me, I don't know if this will happen for you or not, but this happens a lot. So, if you want to do that, you just reset. And after you reset, start Windows normally. Now, once you download this, you are free to do whatever you want with it. You can destroy it, you can run memes on it, you can run viruses on it, you can have fun with it. You can cheat in it. I don't care what you do with it. You can do anything. And for example, I'll probably run memes on this thing really quickly. This does come with the Google account. As it says in the Internet Archive description. And also, if you do want to do that, you can cheat and show desktop icons. And yes, if you haven't known, this is a wallpaper. Here's all your desktop icons. Now you just find the bird, Bonsai Buddy 2, right click on him, select properties, go to compatibility, change settings for all users, yes on the user account control, and then disable this, disable all of them, except the one at the bottom. It has to run as administrator, or else it will give you errors where it just won't work. Because it doesn't have the permission. And no need to restart. If you if you want to get rid of the desktop icons again, you can just reselect that. Click yes on the user account control. Oh, it didn't fix it. Okay, it got rid of the Wait destroyed no looking it's thing. Now. It's nice to see you. Hold on, let me end okay, him. Okay. If you want to get into I'll Task Manager, right you have to do Control Alt Insert in instead of Control Alt Delete, because on VMware it will it it, it does that instead. Here, as you can see, you can uh, end the bird process. Okay, here I I think I forgot a setting actually. Properties, compatibility. Yeah, there it is. Unselect that. Apply. Okay. And now if we run it, it should be just normal. But, except more annoying. Because now we have this thing. What a fresh perspective. Now, the screen resolution is automatically set to... 250... Uh, to 20, 2560 by 1440. If you want to change this to your monitor, you can change it. In this case, mine is 1920 by 1080. And as you can see, looks much better now that it's the proper screen resolution. But you you can make you can set it to the Change very low. You can set it to the most lowest resolution, and it will be the most difficult. Now there's also the gorilla on here. As you can see, this is what it would show. This is what it would do if you don't run it as an administrator. So that's why you don't want to unselect that last option. Or so it'll get rid of this user account control right here, and it will run it normally. But it won't run it normally, and it'll just come up with these errors, and it won't run. So this is what it'll come up with. Here's the start menu, just like everything showed in the pictures and in the current videos. So, yeah. 
and let me show you the Google account really quickly. Here, let me go to Google Chrome. As you can see, signed in on the Google account and everything. You can go to the Google Drive. I'm probably going to make a new folder on here for people that do download this and want to mess around in the Google Drive. Don't delete any... Oh, we have an error. Oh, that's that cursor thing. That junk. If you don't... Please don't mess up the Google Drive. We, we need these folders here, so... If you want, you can just make your own folder and do whatever you want in there. But don't, um, don't do these. Don't mess, mess with those. Because we, because we use those for every single VM. So yeah. Thanks. And if you want to, if you want to shut it down, you can click power off. Now if you decide you, you don't want this, you want to delete it, no problem. Exit out of VMware, you can click remove on here. And notice it will say this will not delete the virtual machine from the disk. You have to go into File Explorer. Once you go into File Explorer, you can go to Documents. It will come up with... Oh, I think it's in... Oh, yeah. It's it's in here. In the VM partition, because I have it on a different hard drive. But it would originally be in your Documents folder if you did not... If you set it up on on the only drive. If you do have multiple drives, you can send it to the other one, but mostly it will be in the documents and it will have the same virtual machines folder. Then you can just locate your VM, which in this case, I don't actually know where it is. Date modified, that's not the... Oh wait, no, that is. That might be it. So, again, you don't need the zip file again. Oh, I know where it is. It's in the downloads. That's right, because we run it from here. So, here here it is. So, it shouldn't be in the documents. It should be in the downloads. Because this is where we downloaded it. And it will go into the downloads. And this is where we opened it. So, on here, you just click delete. Like so. And then, if you click uh, cancel on here, as you could see, file not found. You could just remove that from your library. Close VMware, and it'll it'll be in your recycle bin, and then you can just empty your recycle bin, and it'll be completely gone from your computer, or whatever you try it on that supports VMware. So yeah, that's how to download and in install slash open the Impossible series in VMware. Thanks for watching. Again, this is free to download. But you have to do it through the mega link again because it doesn't work on Internet Archive. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Hope you appreciate this and bye.